Welcome to this new unit in this SPSS course where I'm going to talk about how we can identify duplicate cases. Well, once we identify duplicate cases, we can then remove them from our data set. So this helps us to actually, well, clear up our data set a little bit. Well, the idea is not really this hard. In general, well, we're working with our data set here, so it's a good point to start here in the menu data. Then directly here in the upper part, we have identify duplicate cases. So if I'm using this one, I can select up here, define matching cases by. So in this case, I could, for example, select here two variables, then he will match them for height and weight and for each combination, each possible combination, he will use or mark only one case. Well, the next question would be, which cases should he mark? So I could either use a sorting within these matching groups according to additional third variables, which I would put here, or I could go down here and mark the first one in each group as primary, so as this is the case to keep, or the last one, or by indicator variable, so which I define in more detail. So this is a different way of here, him marking, telling me which one should be the primary, which is the case which later on I might actually keep. So for example, I go here with first case in each group is primary. I click OK. I get this information, which means he processed all 284 cases. He found 64 duplicates and 222 primaries. And then I could switch to the um, data view and I would see if I go here, data view, I see first of this is my new variable, my primary first one. With data view, I see here in this part, this is an original, this is an original, and those are duplicates. So now I could tell him, delete this set, a case, this case. So all the cases which here are marked zero, so which are marked as duplicates. This would then clean up my data set of all the duplicate variables. The problem, however, would be um, if those variables are not really duplicates, but just duplicates with regard to those two variables. Because if I take a look here at those two, I see, for example, they have a different BMI, even though they're actually duplicates of the other cases. So here they have the same BMI. So this is the duplicate of this one. However, here with the other variables, they do not match. So I would lose the information of this whole case, the heterogeneity this case gives me in the other variables, if I just go and consider where they are actually the same. Well, this would be a big problem, so I should be really careful which of those variables I actually exclude from my data set, which I actually delete. So why you could use this primary variable to delete variables from your data set, I would always recommend keep whatever you have and just select them with regard to this primary. So for example, you could go again with data, then down here, select cases, and only select those where the primary is one. So then you only work with those cases which are marked primary and not duplicates without changing your data set in any significant way. Well, that's then already all there is on the topic of, well, identifying, working or removing duplicates in SPSS. So if you want to see additional input on SPSS, feel free to visit the rest of this course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.